Hey guys, it's Trina. Um, I'm coming at you with another book related video because you guys seem to really like my last one. This one's going to be a little bit different. I actually went and saw Beauty and the Beast this past weekend, not the movie version, the live version um, in Grand Bend, which was absolutely incredible. One of the best shows I've ever seen. And I know I say that after like every musical I've ever seen, but seriously, it was unbelievable. So I was inspired to do this video from that because Belle loves books and there's actually a Beauty and the Beast tag that exists. Um, just before I get started though, I'm going to let you know that a couple of the books I'm going to be talking about I might have be a little spoilery, but I'll give a warning before that. Um, also, how this will work basically is that there's going to be little quotes from different songs in Beauty and the Beast, and I'm going to say books related to those quotes. So here we go! So the first one is, Oh What a Guy Guessed On, a villain you can't help but love. So my all-time favorite villain is Bellatrix Lestrange from the Harry Potter series. Um, this is also my favorite series of all time, but I absolutely love her. I think she's the coolest person ever, even though she's evil, but like, you know. So here's where she meets Prince Charming, your OTP. So my OTP comes from Oxwell Court Trilogy, which a lot of people haven't heard of, um, but I absolutely love it and I strongly suggest it to anybody. Um, this is going to be a little spoilery because the OTP is actually a big plot point, so I'm just going to keep my hand up until I finish talking about it and you can skip ahead if you want. So my OTP is Andrew and Neil. Um, I just think they're just, they're just, they're just, they're just everything. They're, they're just everything. I want so much more than this provincial life, a character destined for greater things. So I picked Julian from A List of Cages by Robin Rowe. Um, again, this one's going to be a little spoilery, so I'll keep my hand up until I'm done talking. But the reason I picked this is that Julian is a character that grew up in such an abusive household, and the book really talks about how he's able to escape that household. and. It's just such a beautiful story, and I think that now, by the end of the story, he is able to pursue his life to his full potential. Be Our Guest, a book that made you hungry. <laughs> so this is kind of random, but there's a story behind it. Uh, the book I picked was Aragon by Christopher Paolini, and I know you're thinking, what do dragons have to do with hunger? But I think it was the association, because I'd always read this book, um like a little bit after lunch and then by the time I finished reading I was hungry for a snack so then I'd always associate this book with snacks so then it was hunger the book itself isn't about food so it's just Beauty and the Beast opposites attract so for this one I picked Will and Louisa from Me Before You um, obviously when you meet Louisa's character she's super bubbly and perky and like just so full of life and Will is like pessimistic about everything, like really rude to her at first, but obviously as the book goes on you are able to understand her little situation better and I think they work so well together because she's able to show him some of the beautiful things he can appreciate in life, whereas he's able to ground her in some of the harsh realities in life. But there's something in him that I simply didn't see. A character who is more than they seem. So I picked um, Augustus Waters from The Fault in Our Stars. The reason for that is that he, um, again, this might be a little spoilery, but bear with me. Um, he's a character that like really um, comes off as larger than life and, you know, almost perfect in a way, but as the book goes on you see his imperfections and his insecurities and you realize there's this deep vulnerability to him that you don't notice necessarily at the beginning of the book. Um, and I think it's really important for his character development and also as he comes to terms with the illness that he has. I was innocent and certain and now wiser but unsure. A book that changed you in some way. Th this book changed my life. <laughs> Looking for Alaska, another book by John Green. Just 
it's so beautifully written and it tackles such an important topic and um, I think I read this book when I really needed it the most and it helped me in so many ways and this will always have a special place in my heart. Kill the Beast, a book you picked because of the hype. So for this I went with The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Just to know, I, I picked it because I heard so many incredible things about it, but I authentically absolutely love this book. It talks about such an important topic, it's written so beautifully, and I really think it's something that everyone should read. Never Shake Away the Pain, a book or a moment that always makes you cry. <laughs> The perks of being a wallflower. I don't know if I will ever be able to read this book again. This is probably one of my favorite books of all time, tied with Looking for Alaska, but it just like, oh, it, I was a mess, sobbing, sobbing, sobbing mess. Um, but again, it's on such an important topic, and I definitely think it was very impactful in all the right ways. Had as a moment last forever, a book that you've loved since you were little. So for this I had to pick a series of unfortunate events. I started this series when I was literally six years old, maybe even five, and just fell in love with it right away. Um, and, and I remember the 13th one, the last book, didn't come out till I was like in high school, but I just think it's such, such a great book series, and like, the messaging behind it, as far as I saw, was it's the people around you that make life incredible and that even if you grow up in a bad situation, you can still find goodness and hope in life. Um, and I thought that was a really, really good message overall. Um, even though, you know, everything that happens in the series is really depressing, but I think it's really about the hope and love between the characters that really comes through. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you like these sort of videos and I can do more of them. Um, and subscribe to this channel because I make weekly videos. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye!